She didn't have anybody with her, did she? Why no. did I think she had like somebody else with her? No, um, it yeah, was so just her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, now your anchor makes more sense. Like you have a giant shield with a head on it that like turns anyone into stone who gets close to you guys. And so you being defense around the flag would make more sense because you have that shield. He's not saying it because he just like wants her to not be involved. It's because it yeah. actually makes sense for her to play that role. But for her, it like makes no sense at all to make him play, to make him be in the back by the flag and just be watching everything and have no role. Like, why would you have the most powerful kid at camp besides you? Yeah. And, and like take them completely out of out of everything. The only reason to do that is because you want to you want to be like the one that everybody you know you want to be the one that wins everything. You want yeah. all the attention on you, or she has to have like control because if somebody else is the hero, then she doesn't get like the attention she actually wants, which is yeah. like why she wants to do this. Like that's why she wants to be like the captain to win because she wants to be the one to come up with a plan that beats these hunters. That's like the motivation. Percy's just doing it because it's camp and this is just what they do. And he wants to help like the other campers and stuff like succeed. Um, and, and, and it's not about him. And when the battle starts going on and he can like watch it all from where they are and he can see that it's not going to work. And he's like, okay, this, it's not gonna work. There's too many of them. There's too many hunters that are near her. She's never going to be able to grab the flag and get all the way back without them, you know, stopping her. Either way, Thalia's plan was not going to work. He didn't yeah. go to like get the flag because he wanted like notoriety and like to be like seen as like number one again. He just did it because he was like, oh, we're going to lose. And so I'm going to try to grab this because I have like an opening. Nobody is over here because they're all trying to get her. And it almost works. Like he almost got there when the hunters attack to try to get the flag. They like shoot arrows at like little baby Nico and the Stoll brothers where they have them like sticking out of their helmets and stuff. And they're like knocked out on the ground, but mm -hmm. he feels bad about doing that. And so he just pushes her over and even yeah. feels bad about doing that. And is yeah. like, oh, and is like running away being like, I'm sorry. And, and, and like, if he would have knocked her out, she wouldn't have been able to like, you know, alert the other hunters that he had the flag and he, they probably would have won. But because he's Percy, he's not going to do that. Zoe had to like hit him with some arrow or something that knocked him to the ground and like right before he got there. And so it's not like it was like, you know, it's not like it was a, like a blowout or anything. Like he almost got there and yeah. he was just able to catch him at like the last second. And, yeah. so, and so the after effects of this whole thing is ridiculous <laughs> when yeah. you look at like what actually happened here. I think it's like absolutely fascinating that people, even like fans of this book series, think that Percy is the one that is more emotional, that his anger is more dangerous, that he's closer to becoming dark Percy, whatever that means. But Thalia electrocutes him twice on purpose because they lost a game and she knows that she's hurting him badly when she does it. And she is, her anger is so out of control because he didn't follow her plan. That is literally the only reason why she is angry is because she, he didn't follow her plan. That's mm -hmm. it. It's not even about losing. It's because she, he didn't follow, like if they would have lost and he would have just stayed in the spot he was in and, and like been knocked out with the rest of them she probably would have been fine with him. She only cares if he didn't, she didn't do what he, like he didn't do what she said he should do. And mm -hmm. so the idea that she is that angry at him, that she's so out of control with her anger that she accidentally electrocutes him. Yeah. It's yeah. like, you're a child of Zeus and you got so angry about this little thing that you electrocuted somebody and somehow and somehow people think that he's the one that's like on the edge that could possibly like join Luke. And it's like, I am quite sure that Thalia would join Luke way sooner than Percy would because she doesn't have like, 
control over her emotions and she's still thinking too much about what she can get out of things. I think it's worth saying that their plan, a combo of their plan would have been what was best. Um, like a combo of flexibility within like, let's station people in these different places. But Percy should have been picking where people were stationed, number one. And number two, if you have a team going after the flag, then it's a lot easier for one of them to be like, hey, I'm going to go run ahead. Can you stay back and like defend me? Um, you know, it would have worked out so much better had they joined forces. And that's like something I found with my brother is like the family bullshit is a lot easier to handle when we're on each other's team. And like after we have a family interaction, we can look at each other and just do like a wink wink like what the fuck are they on right now? <laughs> Because she was so angry that he changed her plan, it didn't even, it just didn't even occur to her in that moment to like, be like, like, give it to me. Yeah. Because she was just so mad that he changed what he was doing that she could not, she, the thing with like the golden child stuff is that you're like supposed to be on the same team, but you're not. Mm -hmm. Like he's supposed to be like your teammate, but she looked at him as like an adversary. Yeah. So that stops you off automatically from a lot of things becoming it, everything would have been easier, not even with this one thing, but just overall, it would have been so much easier for both of them. If this didn't, if this sort of weird thing was going on and it's not from, and this weird thing is happening and it's 100% from Salia. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. Percy isn't doing anything like, yeah, he gets angry and throws water on her but i'm like can we compare like thalia tries electrocutes him like three times yeah and is only stopped by the oracle otherwise she like it would have kept going um he throws water on her what is water going to do to her besides get her clothes wet that's the only thing that happens to her is now she's wet and she has to go change her clothes but she was going to do that anyway after mm -hmm. capture the flag was over, he's not hurting her. He's just getting her clothes wet. It's annoying, like, sure, mm -hmm. but he's not actually harming her in any way. He's being electrocuted. <laughs> like, he talks about how he can smell his, his, like, clothes well, yeah. burning because he was just electrocuted. <laughs> like, this is not like a... a like he could have done more to her. He was just like mad and was just like, what is wrong with you? Especially when she calls him his nickname that Annabeth calls him, he call, she calls him seaweed brain. Yeah. And like coming from her is, that's a that's a derogatory statement when she says his, yes. when she, she's saying it to like put him down and like make him feel bad about himself. And so, yeah, that's gonna make him do that stuff to be angry at her and it's like honestly after everything that happened with her so far this is the only time that he's ever like snapped at her at all and considering everything that's happened within the last like few chapters that's not that bad like yeah like tearing his hut off like five different times and then taking the god side over him and then and then you know getting that angry at him during the fight where you're like mini electrocuting him before it even starts throwing some water on her is like not that bad and like yeah chiron is like oh my god <laughs> everyone stop fighting and it's like panicking because the two most powerful kids at camp are, are are like screaming at each other when they're supposed to be on the same team mm -hmm. but <laughs> It's also like a thing of like, there's only so many times, there's like, this happens to like every scapegoat ever, but there's only so many times that somebody can say like mean or rude things to you where you finally just like snap and like lose your fucking mind. Yeah. <laughs> and like, just like scream at them and throw stuff at them maybe. <laughs> and then like immediate, but the way that scapegoat stuff works is that immediately after that happens, you beat yourself up for doing that and feel so guilty for doing it and tell yourself that you actually deserved it and that you never should have done that to them and that they were right about everything the whole time. <laughs> that that's and the and then the golden child is sitting there like, yep, you're right. It what I, I was right the entire time. Yeah. <laughs> and that's basically how that continues.
But Which he's already done once in this reading that we just did tonight because he <laughs> told her I should have stayed with you at the dance. And then she admitted, you know, I probably would have ran after the manticore and the kids too. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like that whole thing of you're just trying to, I guess the thing that happens with this sort of interaction in general is that as a scapegoat, you are like wanting to give the person the benefit of the doubt or like you want to think that they're not a bad person because yeah. you want to because you because you're aware that you you could get along if you could actually just get over like this weird stuff that's going on between you and so you don't want to think that they're you know doing this stuff on purpose or being as mean to the, to you as they actually are so you like go out of your way to try to make things work because you do actually want to get along with them yeah um, that's part of like why sometimes people in the golden child role pull the stuff that they do because they know that they can like this chapter ends after that craziness 